guess what? This morning, I am going to learn how to make fascinator. So those people that used to buy your fascinator, I'm not buying again. The creative director of Bosch's signature, Bolale Adekole, a millinery brand which is into making exquisite handmade headwears like fascinators, turbans, Ankara and Ashoke headpieces for today's woman. Now she would be showing us how to make a fascinator. And like I said, I'm already excited because today I'll start my own fascinator business. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thank you. So you're telling me that after our lesson, I'll be able to make this. <laughs> At least you should be able to make something nice for yourself. Not this one. <laughs> this is time taking and this is a molded fascinator. Okay. But what we're going to do now on the training, on the program, is just something you can do within five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Yes, you know what? Let me know. let you come here because I, this is where you're using, right? Yes. Okay. So you can come here and then quickly run me through how we're going to do this. Okay. We have our Harley's band. Yes. We have our Ankara fabric. Okay, so you need an Ankara fabric. Yes. We have our scissors. Okay. Um, our feathers. Okay. Then I have a thread, matching thread. Oh, okay. With needle. Yes. So you've threaded that already. Yes. This has been threaded. Then your tape rule. Okay, what are we measuring? And now for this, I have um, 45 inches. Okay, for okay. This, since it's not a big one. Yeah. So it depends on your preference, how big you want it, how small, just okay. what, you, what you like. Okay. Then I have my pearl, my hoo gum, okay. and my hot glue. Your hot glue, okay. Yes. Now let's, let's get started. Yes. So what I'm just going to do now is to run my thread okay. through this fabric. Okay. Just a running stitches. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. And that is going to be able to achieve this. Yes, okay. exactly. So the, we're making this, but she's showing us the process of how to actually achieve it. So you might want to get your needle and thread and start quickly. Oh, okay. Oh, all this looks like magic. <laughs> so just do this till you get to the hand. Okay, so it mustn't, it, um, could it be shorter or to, uh, to get these exact layers? Yes. It has to be that long. So if I want yes. it longer than this, I would measure a longer exactly. um, amount of the Ankara then, piece. And the, the breadth is um, four inches. Okay. So this also determines how big, wide. how okay. wide it will okay. be. Okay, okay. So if you want a longer, if you want a longer bow, okay, I can't see any here, but you, you make it longer and if you want it wider, bigger, yes. you make the breadth wider. Wider. Lesson length. So this can be any piece of Ankara you have at home. Any, or like yeah. yours to match what you <laughs> what exactly. you're wearing. Exactly. Okay. And this can be done by yourself. You don't even need to pay anybody. No. You could just achieve it because I'm sure every lady has needle and thread, measuring tape. You have your all purpose glue, beads. I want to see how we'll use this to be honest. And then the feathers. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm done with this. Oh, okay, now and that was fast. Exactly. <laughs> so what I just need to do now is to spread it out a bit. Okay. And start making my rows. Okay. I'm trying to form a rose with the fabric. So after we form a rose, what are we going to do next? We start adding the accessory. Okay. So we add the accessory to it. And we are almost done. Oh, okay. Let will break out the accessories. So are we using this first? Oh. Or which one? No, oh, that okay. will come last. Last, okay. So what are we doing next so I can help? <laughs> <laughs> and I just need to make this first. Then okay. You tack it. Oh, okay. Yes, to hold to the hold rose it together. To hold together, yes. So it doesn't come off. Okay, so it's after you stitches. do the running stitches, you fold it, you tack it, so it stays together. Exactly. Okay. So with this now, we have our rose. Yes. Yeah, so and you could also this. use it like a brooch on your clothes if you want to. Exactly. <laughs> like I said, you can use it for anything. anything yeah, you can have a already piece. molded um, fascinator here. Yeah. And just attach. Yeah, true, true, go. true. Okay. So, so I'm done with this. Let me tie it up. Okay. And then I cut it. We cut it. Okay. Nice. 
Yes, guys, I made this. Take it or leave it. I'm the one that made it. <laughs> I ran you through it, so I made it. <laughs> so what do we do, do next? So the next thing we do is to get... Okay, now we are using this. Okay. Just to add some spice to it, not necessarily the Ankara fabric. So okay. You, I can either do a bow okay. with it. Like this. Oh, okay. Have a bow. Yeah. I can do something like this. So no. what are we doing? Are we doing the so bow? So now I will do the bow, just the bow. to make it first. Okay. I will have the bow done like this. And are we going to use yes. the needle and thread? Okay. Still so needle, needle and thread is very essential to achieve your fascinator here. Yes. So just oh, so you just run it through. Yes. Okay. And you tie the knot. Just run through the stitches. Okay. Yes. Oh, and, and there are. you have the bow. Okay, now this is really interesting. Now after this, what are we doing quickly? So and we can the next run thing we're through. doing is just to start putting them together, together. to have your fascinator. Okay, so we put this together, yes. and then do you put the glue? Yes, I use. Okay. I will use my hot glue now. Okay, so we put the hot glue on that, and then we put it here. Now, it's, unfortunately, we don't have so much time, but people, you could follow her on social media and totally learn how to achieve everything in full but if you followed us this far i'm sure you already know how, how to achieve this much for your fascinator you use the hot glue you put it on the headband and then you have your headpiece you see and voila so this is how we pretty much achieve it right 